What is going on guys, it's Crazy Pickle with another Skyforge video. So this video is going to be about the new class Soundweaver and it's going to be a small guide plus rotation as well. So first of all we're going to go over the abilities. I'm pretty sure that most of you who has the class already know which ability and what it does and how it actually works. But anyway, we're just going to go over each ability and... I will explain how it works, what needs to be done, how to actually use it. At least in my opinion, the best way to use it or something like that. So, alright guys, let's get started. Alright, before I start, I just want to say one thing that Illyrium 9 talent is required. So, if you don't have it yet, uh, I will tell you just to go and farm the Illyrium 9, do that weekly Illyrium Rush quest, farm Kyrex, do Meteor showers and all that. So do that. If you do have the Hellasar blocks, you need 5 to activate that quest. When you complete that quest, it gives you 150 Illyrium 9. So should be easy and fast to get the 10,000 Illyrium 9 to get that talent. Alright, so the first two abilities is the basic attacks, left and right click, notes of pain, and agony. They do the same thing, 40% chance to restore energy when you play in pain and agony in sync with equalizer. If you do not do that, the damage dealt by those abilities uh, go less by three times and do not recover energy. So you have to play it at in sync. Uh, the one thing with that, the, with those two abilities, that talent is improvisation will activate it. It's like a random thing, so it's not like specific chance it's just random thing where it procs for five seconds and it uh, your damage is increased uh, double it says well pretty much it's two times I guess if it says double anyway and the energy accumulation rate is increased two times as well so just to play then sync really simple let's say you start with a left click and it's you can see the equalizer is blue becomes purple go to the right click so on the controller is going to be different buttons wherever you set up your controller and all that. So it's going to be whatever you have. Uh, and you can see right now above my health bar, the improvisation is procced. So during that time I deal double damage and my energy accumulates faster. So pretty much when it's blue, it's a left click. When it's purple or pink, it's a right click. Alright, so the next ability is Amplifier and the talent for that ability is Concert Equipment. So that talent is re uh, allows you to summon three amplifiers to the battlefield. When the fourth one is summoned, the first one will disappear. Amplifiers have a cooldown of five seconds. So an actual amplifier can play Rhythm of Strain, Courage and Inspiration and of course the Fiery Solo. Effect from the amplifier uh, is has five yard radius of the amplifier and it has two charge levels. So you, you can see here two charge levels. Uh, let's just show it right away. So if you tap it once, it will put whatever you target. Either it's enemy, your ally, and but if you target yourself and you tap it once, it put of course right on top of you. And then if you hold it, it will put in front of you. So pretty, pretty simple, right? I mean, it's kind of pain because I mean you can still hold or keep the target on one enemy and then just either hold it or tap it or whatever you want to do so and yeah keep in mind that you have five uh, seconds cooldown before you get all one amplifier so it's 15 seconds total when you get all three amplifiers back and yeah that's pretty much it so let's jump to the next abilities uh, which is going to be uh, rhythm of strength courage and inspiration so three different abilities does three different things of course the strength it gives you 40% uh, more damage deal to, well, it boosts the damage of allies for 40% for the first 10 seconds. After that, effects get weaker, allies deal 10% more damage, and of course the enemy takes damage per second. So we, let's talk about just a buff about it. So I don't think if you go full support, it's not going to be a lot of damage to the target. So 40% damage increasing damage to allies which is pretty good amount and it doesn't this class doesn't transfer any might so it all the goes like a flat damage next one is courage and damage 
two allies reduced by 30% for the first 10 seconds and enemies takes 40% more damage in the area of the effect. This is the 5 yard radius area. So as long as allies and of course the enemy is on that area, the enemies get the damage from it and allies get the boost for first 10 seconds which is the 40%. Same thing it goes for the courage. It's the same yard radius, but in this case, you the damage reduced to your allies by 30 and damage to enemies increased by 40%. So the inspiration for the first 10 seconds, allies ultimate abilities and divine weapons recover two times faster. Enemies are slowed down by 70% and their damage dealt is reduced by 50%. Of course, it's the first 10 seconds, after that it drops to 30%, uh, then 30% and then 20%. So on my opinion, this is not a big deal of that ability, so I mean ultimate abilities for the most part, you still have enough time before the next buff, so I don't think it's that of a big deal, especially for the divine weapon as well, I think the divine weapon procs fast enough during each uh, burst buff whatever rotation you do so but yeah it just green color different way so same radius and as long as allies in it enemies in it it will do that effect keep in mind if you use the same ability or rhythm again because when you already have same ability activated once the energy will consume twice more so Let's say right now I have the inspiration, right? And well, of course, I don't have energy. The another tip actually, well, it's not a tip, it's requirement. Always play the left, the agony and uh, pain abilities to gain energy back. So you do get the energy back when you're not in battle, it recovers, re recovers automatically. Uh, but during the battle, of course, you have to play the left and right clicks all the time. So when you get enough energy, and let's say right now the inspiration is activated, so I have 70 energy, I use that inspiration again, boom, 60, what, 66 energy just gone, just, just like that. So you don't wanna do that. All right, so the next one is, we're just gonna go over the, uh, the ultimate ability and the rest of the talent that have left. So the ultimate ability is the fiery solo. It plays all three rhythms, strength, courage and inspiration and all the effects applies to anyone targets i mean the enemies allies like all three effects works at the same time of course you can only play that for 10 seconds which pretty much well not a pretty much but you get 40 percent damage first i mean 40 percent boost damage then that 30 percent reduce damage to you and then 40% damage to the target, and then from the inspiration, whatever it says, slowing down, reducing damage from the enemy, and things like that. So all three effects and all those boosts works at the same time when you play your fiery solo. So the one thing when you use that, you have to push the right button with the right color to keep going. You can only make three mistakes during that ability if you do that if you made three mistakes the ultimate ability will be interrupted it will stop so well let's just see how it goes boom and you have four different colors and four different buttons as long as you know what button is which color which is pretty simple it's it goes the way it goes one it's blue then what two it's a yellow and then three it's purple and then what for it's a green one i believe so you don't have to look at the numbers underneath your health bar just look at the colors on that it's like a guitar hero stuff so you just have to look at the mark that goes down which color it is and you just push the button so as long as you know and remember which button is what color you only can look at that part on the left side of your screen so it's, it's really simple, it's not that hard, So and all the effects applies during that for 10 seconds. You can only play that for 10 seconds. 
So the next one is what's left. Uh, we do have the sound wave, which is the upgraded dash and a distance increased by 15 yards. It does damage when it gets that wave in front of you. You can dash back as long as you're facing the same way. It will put that wave in the same way where your character facing. So there you go. Pretty simple. Doesn't do a lot of damage anyway, but looks pretty cool. And of course, we do have the support aura since it's a support class it does the same thing as the light binders or or alchemist support aura just different name crescenda and of course the talent is like i said in the beginning that it restores three percent of maximum health to allies every seconds for the first 10 seconds then it drops to one percent health for every two seconds so it still heals you uh, as long as you're not getting a lot of damage and as long as you Standing in a five yard radius if you in a group for sound weaver you get that effect Anywhere you don't have to stand actually here I mean because you sound weaver and but if you're not then you have to stand right in that area to get that effect from any strength courage or Inspiration and one more thing so each time you use any ability strength courage or inspiration Let's say we're just gonna use it the strength right now start playing the pain and agony so you if you have enough range maybe you don't have to stand far away you can target the enemy if not target any closer ally or yourself you can still play you can still get the energy because you do have 10 seconds before you switch to another ability so because you don't want to use same ability twice again because it will eat a lot of energy and in case you need to use something else and you not have any energy you pretty much you're screwed so and your team's not gonna like you so yeah switch each 10 seconds switch the different abilities and always play the left right click after each ability so that way you will always have energy to use and one more thing of course about the weapon if you do have the new weapon, which is what Jinx Flaming String, notes of pain and agony in sync with Equalizer, they apply the negative effect of active rhythm to the target. When the notes rhythm is activated a second time over 10 seconds, three fireworks are spawned near the enemy. Alright, just a simple way, it's just too much reading here. I mean, it applies 30% higher chance to take critical damage, so it increasing critical damage to the target by 35 percent or chance so let's say we're just gonna target the enemy and let's see just gonna use uh, same ability if you can see right now above my health bar there's like a three yellow lightnings and it applies for 10 seconds when you play that effect applies on you every second ability you use so we just use the strength the next ability when i'm gonna use it let's say right now I'll get that effect for 10 seconds and I'm playing and you can see like a little explosions next to the target and you can see like a debuff on the boss or the enemy for like three seconds or something so during that time all allies and yourself of course the critical damage going to be increased by 35% so it's 35% higher chance to taking critical damage from the sound weaver and their allies allies so it does helps and of course when you're using your ultimate ability it applies those effects each time you push the right color the right button so let's say like this and you if you can see it will usually shows on the enemy it's the same buff or debuff to the enemy it's going to be like it looks like a like a lava fire thingy so let's just show me let, if i can show it again i use that ability and then second ability you can see three seconds underneath the enemy's health bar so it will same thing when you use your fiery solo it will apply that effect as well so but in that case it will apply 100 percent because it's the ultimate ability during the regular part you every second ability you will get that effect so and of course always play the left and right clicks now let's talk about rotation it is very simple one amplifier on the target and other two on the team 
For the main buff, use your ultimate ability every time it is ready. When ulti is on cooldown for each buff phase, use Rhythm of Strength, plus the weapon's effect if you do have new weapon. If you have a new weapon, before main buff you can use either Courage or Inspiration. That way, when you're going to use Rhythm of Strength for the secondary buff or any other buff while your ulti is on cooldown, you will trigger the weapon ability effect. And by using Notes of Pain and Agony on a target, it will apply debuff that increase critical chance to an enemy by 35%. Note, range of place and amplifiers is about 80 meters away from the target. There are two ways I place amplifier. First, target boss or a tank and tap amp ability. Keep target on a boss or a tank and hold amp ability to place two other amps on a team. Note, stand a little bit behind your team when you are placing other two amps, because range damage classes will be standing around 21-25 meters away from the target and if you're standing behind your teammates, second amp will be placed in front of you, which will drop right on a team. Another way, after you placed first amp on a boss or a tank, target yourself and tap amplifier ability. It should drop amp right on top of you, meaning that if you're standing right with a group, everyone will be standing on the area of the amplifier. Just do your best to place amps on your team, that way DPS classes don't have to do a lot of unnecessary moves to stand on the area of the amplifier. Now, part in rotation when you are combining weapon ability with other rhythms. As you know that every second ability you use, either it is rhythm of strength, courage or inspiration, weapons effect will be tricked and when you attack target with notes of pain and agony, it will apply burning effect to the enemy, increasing your and allies crit chance by 35%. Note, your ultimate ability applies burning effect to the target right away. The way I'm doing it, before fight starts, I can use inspiration. After main buff, for the secondary buff, I use rhythm of strength, since it is my second ability I will use, it will trick weapon's ability and applying burning effect to the target with notes of pain and agony. So what I'm trying to do is always trick weapon's ability with rhythm of strength. If your ult is still on cooldown, use rhythm of strength and trick weapon's effect for each buff phase. After switch to courage if team needs healing or inspiration. Personally, I always switch back to Courage, rarely to Inspiration. It is pretty simple rotation, just need to get used to replacing amps fast enough when needed and trig weapons effect always at the right time. Alright, let's recap and go step by step. Before fight, use Inspiration. Then place one amp on a boss or a tank and other two on a team. For the main buff or full buff, use your ultimate ability every time it's ready. For the secondary buff, use Rhythm of Strength with Weapon's Effect. To apply that effect, use Notes of Pain and Agony. Switch back to different Rhythm after the buff phase, Courage or Inspiration. Courage would be better than Inspiration on my opinion. Then wait for the next buff, rearrange amps if needed and use Strength again with the Weapon's Effect. Every time your ulti is back, use it again for the main buff only. And of course, don't forget to play Notes of Pain and Agony all the time to have enough energy every time it is buff phase. Alright, this is it for this video, hopefully it's not that confusing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video so far, smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe and activate notification that you won't miss new video I post. You can also follow me on Twitter at CrazyPickle7 and join my Discord server, links will be in the description. Until the next time, take care.